just host, what's up? I'm ready to start Environmental No Impact Week. It's currently Sunday. Um, my front facing camera is the only one that works because my phone got ran over by a car. There's a screen protector. Also, my video function doesn't work, so I'm taking all these in slow mo and then speeding them back up. So I thought I would let you know. I will be collecting my trash in this standard trash bag, which I must admit is already a little bit full um, because I keep it in my room for uh, cleaning purposes anyway. But I'll keep you updated and we'll get it added to this collection. So after going through my trash um, from today, I've realized that it basically fits into two categories, one of them being fishing trash. Uh, actually, it comes from fishing line on my desk right here. So I'll have to untangle from my earbuds, but the other one being food trash. And uh, in, regation, in regard to the no impact week, fishing trash would be things considered to be used over 10 minutes. And uh, food trash, such as like granola bar wrappers and things like that, I would consider to be under 10. I see that step one for Sunday is um, to make a list of things that you buy, that you need, things that um, you can't live without. And to be honest, I had a hard time coming up with this because I don't do any of the grocery shopping for my family or I don't purchase any of the toiletries. Um, so yeah. I'm not a big shopper anyway, but um, I have taken today and I will in the next couple days. I will not shop at all, or at least, of course, I like, have to get gas in my car and things that are essential, but I will do the least amount of shopping that I can. Um, and that's gonna allow me more time to do things that I enjoy, such as like watching um, the NBA restart or go fishing or playing basketball in my backyard. Um, the hardest part for me about not spending any money in these next couple days um, and today, I would say is um, not being able to purchase new fishing stuff because um, there's some of these worms I'll actually show you. I one here on my desk. I need some more of these guys, but I can't go get them until no impact week. So here are some images of my trash bag and my uh, daily trash separated in two piles. It's currently Monday morning. It's got my uh, no trash kit that I've made for the day. And the other contents we've got trusty green hydro flask. Got uh, my mask, of course. Uh, that wasn't listed on the website, but don't want to go anywhere without your mask nowadays. Um, got my t shirt. Um, I didn't have a bandana, so I figured this old t shirt that I pretty much never wear would do the job. And then I've got my utensils. Um, I probably won't be using these because I'm trying to not spend money anyway. But, uh, you know, just in case. And then I've got my Tupperware. Um, you know, I could put a snack in this instead of a Ziploc bag. Um, that's a bad habit of mine that they just fix. So um, probably better to use Tupperware instead of Ziploc bags. And then, uh, yeah, I've got my reusable trash bag also in case I need to get groceries. What's up, Miss Toe? Just got back from a pretty long day at work. Um, didn't really have no impact week on my mind, but one thing that um, I saw while taking a break in the store is that Audubel actually only uses four gallons per car wash um, compared to the average car wash being around like 40 or 50 even. Um, so I thought that was interesting. And uh, even though it's not something that I wouldn't, like I would always be working at Audubel, I thought it was, I could add it to this project because you know, it's having a less impact on other car washes. And also I walked to and from work today. So, uh, pretty close. It's only like a five minute walk. So, I only usually drive when I'm being lazy, which is something that I shouldn't do, but it's no impact here. So, I'm walking to work. What's up, Miss Toe? I just jumped out of the shower. Um, and I took a two minute shower, and I took it like 10 degrees cooler than I normally do. Because it's no impact week. You gotta do what you gotta do. What's up, Miss Toe? It's still no impact week. And uh, one thing that I did is I'm in a college SAT writing class and I had to take some notes on the spot and I took them on an old used envelope. Um, so I see that's one of the things on the note impact week. Um, so I figured I'd throw that in here. 
And so another thing that I've done for No Impact Week is um, shop locally. So this is a tomato straight from Dilworth Farmer's Market. Um, it's always better to shop locally because they don't use as much. They're, first of all, their food is just better. But also they don't um, waste as much and um, it's just better for the whole community than to shop from like Walmart um, or a place like that. Even my mom here has limited her track by composting. What have you been composting, mom? We compost anything that is fresh, like our scraps from vegetables, and we put them in the compost, and then your dad takes it out to the compost pile, and we use it to fertilize. But the main thing is it reduces our weekly trash. That, yeah. Reduction of trash from the family. Yep. Hey, Ms. Toe. Another thing that I do to conserve energy um, throughout the day is I turn my fish tank lights off at night, just like this. Um, a, because it saves energy, but also because it simulates a more lifelike environment for the fish with the light being on during the day and off be during the night. Yes, ignore the algae. I'm running a little experiment to see what happens. Hey, Ms. Toe. So I was just reflecting, and the hardest thing about the no impact week for me was reducing my food trash. And this is because I'm really bad about just going and scanning the pantry and seeing what there is just to have a snack. And usually it's not even because I'm hungry, I'll just be bored. But uh, unfortunately, most of the food in the pantry is packaged by plastics and such. So I've been trying to eat just three meals a day, but I would say for sure that was the hardest part for me about No Impact Week. Hey, Ms. Toe. I'm getting ready to go fishing uh, with some of my friends. And I just realized one of the easiest ways to reduce your environmental footprint is to carpool places um, because that limits the amount of um, cars on the road, which obviously reduces fossil fuel emissions, which contributes to climate change. Also, a quick note, I decided to do a video log for this project because it doesn't involve printing anything out or using any paper or just producing much waste in general.